What's up guys, I'm Maths here and we're looking at formulae today. So, we're going to start off with an AQA question, nice and easy start, sort of. Um, a little, maybe a little bit tricky for some people. So we're just going to write out the um, formula and we're going to get our trusty lines in. Okay, so we can do this in one step, but I'm going to do it in two steps to show you why the one step method works. Okay. So we've got a divide by w on the right hand side. So we're going to first of all times by w both sides since we want to make w the subject. Now this will give us a um, 2xw. So it's 2x times w on the left hand side and y on the right hand side. Okay, next we want to get rid of that 2x. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide by 2x to get rid of that 2x. So we've got w equals, and then divide just means over, so it's y over 2x. So the correct answer is, um, where is it, that one there. Now, I said that there was a one-step method, and this is kind of just one that you need to remember. Because of this, what we can do is we can get the left-hand side and the denominator of the fraction and just swap them over and that will always work. As long as you just have one term on the left and a fraction on the right, you can just s literally swap them over. And it's really useful for um, things like trigonometry. You use it quite a lot for the advanced questions in trigonometry, like sine, cos, and tan, where you've just got to swap them over. Um, and it's a really useful tool to kind of have in your toolbox for these types of questions. Next, we move on to OCR. We've got a, a SUVAT formula here. And all we're just asked to do is just put some numbers in and work out what the answer is. That should be quite straightforward. And so I'll write it out first, but I'm probably just going to use the calculator because it's paper 6, which is a calculator paper. So we do 5 times 10 plus half times 3 times 10 squared. And so when you put that into the calculator, you get the answer of 200. Simple. <laughs> okay, next we need to rearrange it to make A the subject of the formula. Not so easy, but not so difficult either. Okay, so I'm going to write out the formula first and get my lines in. So we want to get A the subject of the formula. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the term that doesn't have an A in on the right hand side, the UT. So I'm just going to take away UT from both sides. And that just leaves s minus ut equals half a t squared. Okay, um, now we've got a half there on the right-hand side. So what I could do is divide by a half, but that's kind of the same as timesing by 2. So I'm just going to times 2 both sides. And we've got two brackets s minus ut. And I could do 2s minus 2ut, but I'm just going to leave it in the bracket. I don't need to expand the bracket. Now we've got that t squared there. So again, all I'm just going to do is just divide by t squared. So divide by t squared, divide by t squared. And that leaves, I'm just going to move it down a bit. That leaves two brackets s minus ut over t squared equals a. So a equals two brackets s minus ut over t squared. Now some people might say, oh no, you need to expand the bracket. Well, it says make A the subject of the formula, and when it's factorised, that's normally a better thing. It's normally better to have um, the brackets in there. Um, I would imagine the mark scheme would give you the marks either way, but I would just leave the brackets in there, because if I expand those brackets, there's an extra chance I might make a mistake. Last up is our Excel question. This question is a much higher grade, um, and you'll see why um, when we start you know, working it out. So we've just got to make V the subject. Um, so I'm just going to write it out again, but I'm going to expand the bracket at the top. The reason I'm going to do that is because there's a V trapped in it. So whenever you've got the letter you're trying to make the subject of trapped in a bracket or a fraction, always expand the bracket, always get rid of the fraction, okay? So 15 times T, which is 15T. Uh, 15 times minus 2V is minus 30V and over V. Okay, so the rule is, if the letter is trapped in a fraction or bracket, 
times out the bracket and get rid of the fraction. So that's the first thing we're going to do, or the second thing, because we've already got rid of the bracket. I'm going to get rid of it from the fraction. So this means divide by V. So all I'm going to do is times V both sides. And I'm kind of not worried about you know making sure that I get it all in tone or anything like that. I'm just worried about getting rid of it from the bracket, getting rid of it from the fraction. Okay, so we're left with WV equals 15 T minus 30 V. Okay, next thing I want to do is get all the V terms on the same side. Now, you can see here, I've put this far, way too far to the left, so I'm just going to move this over. I think I've moved my question number as well, so I'll see that there. Okay, so next thing I want to get the V's on the same side. So here we've got a V term and here we've got a V term. So we want them on the same side. So I'm just going to plus 30 V on both sides. So we've got WV plus 30 V equals 15 T. Now the problem is when we have an answer, we're going to have it as V equals and there's not going to be a V on the right hand side. Here we've got two V terms. So how do we how do we make it so that we only have a single V? Well, that's where factorization comes in. Because all we do is factorize the left hand side. So we could divide V out of both of those terms. How cool is that? And it it leaves us with a single V then. And so all we need to do is get rid of this bracket here. And we do that just by dividing both sides by that bracket. So we're left with, whoops, oh hang on, what's happening here? <laughs> Seems to be having a problem with this. Uh, so plus 30, don't know what happened there. Right, so we're left with a V on the left hand side and we've got that 15T and we're dividing by W plus 30. Now divide just means over, so it's going to be over W plus 30. So it's V equals 15T over W plus 30. So the key to that is get the V terms on the same side and then factorize. That's the kind of two steps you need to remember to do when you've got multiple V's or multiple letters that you're trying to make the subject in the same formula. If you remember that, the rest of it is as simple as the first two questions. Well, I hope you found today's video useful. If you did, please click like. If you want to see more from us, we release videos every single weekday. That's Monday to Friday at 9 o'clock in the morning. So just click that subscribe button, the bell icon, the notification button, whatever you want to do to make sure that you keep up to date with all the videos we release. If you haven't already, which I'm sure you have, check out our website on maths.com, which is full of free resources for you to, well, to help you with your maths. There will be a magical card that appears to take you straight through to the site at the top of this video. Otherwise, thank you very much and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, <music>